Hey up everyone, right, so I want to talk about what's going on in Afghanistan, right, so so we've done quite a few videos over the years about Afghanistan um, and it seems that, which I hate having to say this, I told you so, but it seems like every single thing that I predicted in my last video when I was talking about the possibility of the Americans leaving and stuff um it seems that everything that i said in that video has come to pass right now so so what we've got right now is a massive retaking of this country by the taliban right so if you remember back in 2001 after 9 11 happens the americans and the british and nato basically invade afghanistan um Initially, because, like, the Americans... So, basically, like, Bin Laden, who the Americans blamed for 9-11, for he was in Afghanistan, right, yeah? So, basically, the Americans and the Taliban were, were running the country. They were, like, the government of the country at the time, right? So, the Americans went to the Taliban and said, basically, give us Bin Laden, yeah? And the Taliban basically said, well, give us some proof that he did this. And the Americans refused to get hand over any proof to prove that Bin Laden had done 9-11. So the Taliban said, but we're not handing him over to you then unless you can give us some proof, right? So then the Americans invaded, initially to find Bin Laden, yeah, but then also it, it changed to get rid of the Taliban, right? And the Americans and the NATO invaded, and they basically took the capital city, Kabul, they installed a government, right? So they invented a government. They invented a constitution and everything for this country that they just they were just about to create, yeah. <clears throat> and they started having elections, and presidents and stuff were elected and stuff into into the into the into the capital city of Kabul. And large sections of the of the of the country were basically like a civil war going on with actual fighting between the British and the Americans and the Taliban and stuff out in the sticks, out in the out in the hinterland of the country. There was lots of fighting. The Taliban got kicked out of government, yeah, but they didn't really disappear or anything. They still existed, yeah. Now, basically what's happened now is that the Americans and the NATO and Britain have pulled out, right, so they've withdrawn all their military forces. Now... When they, when they created this this alternative um, government structure and stuff, um, they also created like a police force, yes, to like manage um, domestic stuff, yeah. But they also created an army, yeah. And this army had been trained by the British and the Americans. But 20 years down the line, this army was still not in any state to actually be able to defend the country, right? The main problem is that the government that the British and the Americans set up basically corrupt to fuck, right? Yeah, one of the most corrupt, one of the most corrupt governments. So the government really didn't have a lot of support by the people. And the thing is, as well, that the 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 amount of area that the government actually controlled, right, was minuscule. It was basically Kabul. The government basically ran Kabul. Now, Afghanistan is split up into like 400 different little regions. It's a massive country, is Afghanistan. It's thousands and thousands of miles long. It's huge, right? It's huge. And Kabul's like kind of in the north a bit, yeah? And there's just this massive country, right? So basically what the government did is, in each of these areas, they'd have maybe one or two representatives from the government, yeah? And then they'd have a police unit that were protecting them. And then they'd have, like, a few 
how many people there? But like maybe about four or five people, right? For a whole area. And when we're talking like an area, we're talking like a, like the size of a state in America. Do you know what I mean? These these regional areas, there's 400 of them. It's absolutely, they're massive, they're like sizes of countries, do you know what I mean? And basically the only government representative there is like a couple of, a couple of like politicians, some cops, and a few, and a few military people, right? So that's basically, that was, a, that was the extent of government influence, do you know what I mean? There was no police force or anything running around in that area, there was just like a small group of them that were looking after these politicians. Yeah, and a few army people, and that was it. So basically, what's happened now is that, the only thing that was keeping this country together was the was the the presence of the British and the American military forces. This is the only thing that was keeping it together. The government in Kabul is not really liked very much by the pe the actual people of the country. They don't have much respect for this government. Do you know what I mean? This government's extremely weak. Its influence extends no further really than the capital city. Um. And now the now the British and the Americans have pulled out. So now the Taliban have risen up and they're just sweeping the country. I mean, they've taken 30 capital cities in like four days. Do you know what I mean? Like this is like massive, massive defeat, defeat. So basically all, what, what's happened is like these like regional areas, 20 fucking Taliban people turn up. The army, three or four of them, they fuck off, right? The police, they fuck off. And now all that's left is these two politicians who generally end up getting killed. Do you know what I mean? So the Taliban are basically taking over the entire country. Now, the entire reason that the British and Americans went to war was to stop the Taliban from running Afghanistan. The real... Right? Do you know what like, I mean? The reasons was because they won't submit to sending over Bin Laden. But whatever, do you know, like in terms of like propaganda campaigns, it was pretty easy. The Taliban were horrific. They had this like really backward fucking interpretation of Sharia law. Do you know what I mean? Horrific shit going and going on in that country. That's all coming back now, right? So, so the Taliban have swept into all these areas. Now they're in control, right? Yes. Yeah, so now it's all their rules and their laws. So now. The women are not allowed to go to college, they're not allowed to go to education, they're not allowed to leave the house without a man, yeah? They've also got to wear a full fucking head veil and stuff, do you know what I mean? Like, the, the advances and stuff that have been made in Afghanistan in the last 20 years is, is that it's become very much more westernised, do you know what I mean? In terms of, like, the way that it's run and stuff. We run much more, like, on a western country. So women are allowed to do whatever. Women are allowed to do the same as what men are allowed to do. Do you know what I mean? And, they, and they've gone into businesses and jobs and education and government and stuff. Women are in government and stuff over there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, not in the fucking Taliban areas. That's not happening. Do you know what I mean? All of the advances that women have made through this country have all just, just disappeared again now because Taliban are back in control. Do you know what I mean? So so it's an absolute fucking shitstorm in that country. And everywhere that the Taliban have come back into control, it's like it's gone back 20 years. Do you know what I mean? So, like, what's different today is that, basically, the Taliban have now <clears throat> surrounded Kabul, right? They've basically taken all of the, all of the air, air outside areas of the country. They're now all under Taliban control and they've now surrounded the capital city, yeah. So what's happening is the British and the Americans are basically evacuating everybody. There's fucking helicopters going constantly, shif sh sh shifting people. So like basically the only thing that's left under British and American control right now is pa half of the airport, right? Half of the airport's been militarised and it's cut off, yeah? And that's basically under American and British control. Now, Turkey wants to take over control of the airport, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to because, because whatever, Taliban are outside fucking city gates, yeah? So, so basically what's happened is the Taliban have surrounded Kabul, but they've said, but they've halted their advance, yeah? Now, they have actually entered the city in some parts. They basically broke into a prison and set all the prisoners free from there. Um, and... But but they've not actually gone into the city. And they've also issued a command saying 
that they, that, that their fighters have to respect anybody who surrenders to them and treat them with mercy um, and that they have to minimize the civilian casualties and stuff right so now what's happened is that The commanders of the Taliban are not actually in Afghanistan, they're in Doha, right? And they're in negotiations with the Americans at the moment, right? So, basically the Taliban are saying that what they want is a peaceful transfer from this American puppet government who's in control, but who was not in control really because they basically just lost the entire country the only bit of it that they control is Kabul. And the thing is as well, what we're seeing is this military force, this Afghan army, right, is basically, it's not up to the fucking job, right? Every time that it gets challenged, they surrender, right? Or they run off. And you've just seen this happen in Kabul. What's happened is two massive battalions have just gone over to the, to the Taliban side, right? They've basically fucking switched sides, yeah? So now you've got You've got military force that's been armed by the British and Americans that's now just given all that to the Taliban, right? So now the Taliban have got all those weapons and stuff. This is this this is the end for this is the end for Afghanistan, do you know what I mean? Twenty years, all these people who've died fighting over there for nothing, absolutely nothing. Do you know what I mean? You basically just handed the country back to the Taliban, right? Everything every single advance that's being made in that country is now over. It's ended. Do you know what I mean? We're back to where we were. But as always with these things, in the way that, like, this is all being presented to us, this is a major fucking part of this entire story, right, that is she's not even being mentioned, right? And this is the thing about the Islamic State, right? So you remember the Islamic State? They rose up in fucking Iraq and Syria, created a fucking caliphate, massive fucking war and everything that went on over there if you remember yeah and then basically they got defeated by the british and americans and iraqis and stuff and and they basically their caliphate got destroyed their leaders got killed and 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 to the west that's the end of the story but that's that's not the end of the story of the islamic state right they didn't just disappear they went to afghanistan right that's where the islamic state is right now so in the what's part that's called the Tora Bora area, right? It's basically where Bin Laden held out for ages. Like it's like it's really like fucking harsh terrain and stuff. And there's loads of caves and stuff over there, right? And there's a few towns. And basically, Islamic State runs that that entire area. There's like a, a section of Afghanistan that's under Islamic State control right now. So so what's happening right now? Is because there's all this chaos going on in the country, right? Is that Islamic State is now advancing, right? So, so, so the Islamic State's getting bigger, right? They've got, they've just taken over about four or five new towns that are now under their control, right? Yeah, whatever. So basically, I, as I predicted in last last thing is, I think we're going to end up in like. I, either the Taliban and the Islamic State come to some agreement about this, yeah, and so the Islamic State are allowed to have essentially their own state, their own country, w within the borders of Afghanistan. Maybe that might happen. You see, they've both got really strict interpretations of Islam. They're not exactly the same... Um, completely. They're both Sunni, right? But... But may, maybe they can come to some agreement, do you know what I mean? Like, they're not a million miles away from one another in their interpretation of Islam and stuff. So maybe they can come to some agreement with one another. And that again, and then that means that Islamic State has got some kind of legitimacy, another caliphate, another area under its control. Maybe that's what will happen. Or maybe we might end up with a civil war situation where it's the Taliban versus Islamic State who's going to try and take over control of Afghanistan.
That's another possibility that we might end up with here. But the thing is that... Uh, You know, I'm a news hound. The first part of my day is just spent reading the internet <laughs> to find out what's going on in the world. And I have the new different news channels, France 24, ABC News, Euro News, Al Jazeera, whatever. I don't watch news and stuff and find out what the fuck's going on in the world, right? So basically today, obviously, the, the major talk is about the Taliban's advance on Kabul. Um, and the negotiations that are going on there. You see, the Americans have said to them, look, the Taliban have said they want a peaceful transfer from the Americans' puppet government to them, so there'll be a transfer of power. Because they're basically surrounded the capital city now, right? There's no way the government can survive this, do you know what I mean? If they went in militarily, then they'll lose. Do you know what I mean? They'll lose big time. So, they're in negotiations with the Americans right now in Doha, right? And basically, the Taliban are saying, look, we want a peaceful transfer within the next few days, yeah? And the Americans are saying, look... <clears throat> You've got to wait until we've evacuated everybody out of here, yeah. Because they've got a massive embassy in, in, in... The Americans have got a massive embassy in Afghanistan, right? It's fucking huge. And so... Because this has all happened so quickly and stuff, yeah. The Americans haven't had time to evacuate everybody. They've still got thousands and thousands of people still there. The British have still got a load of people in there, in their embassy. Um, and the, the, the British have still got a fair few troops. They've got a few thousand troops still left in the country as well. And so when, we, when we want to evacuate those, yeah. Right? So basically the Americans have said, give us a couple of weeks to evacuate everybody, yeah? But we don't know if they've said, give us a couple of weeks to evacuate one another and then there'll be a peaceful transfer of power. That that part of it's not really being said by the Americans. So we don't know if they're agreeing to this peaceful transfer thing, what the Taliban want. See, if they give them the peaceful transfer, then that basically gives the Taliban legitimacy. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Right? They're not just some like upstarts who've come and taken this over by by military force. They've been they've gone through the political channels and stuff and have become the government. Do you know what I mean? So that gives them massive legitimacy, which is what the Taliban crave, do you know what I mean? Because prior to 2001, they were the legitimate government of Afghanistan. And everybody else in the world treated them as the government of Afghanistan. And that's where they want to be. They want to be the legitimate leaders of that country. Do you know what I mean? But, so we don't really know where that's going. But this, that's what's going on at the moment is there's discussions going on in Doha between the Britons and between the Americans and the Taliban. So there's some kind of negotiations that was going on here, right? So we don't really know what's what's going to happen there, right? There's been calls asking for a ceasefire, yeah? There's no way that the Taliban are going to give you a ceasefire. Why would they? How is that in their advantage in any way, shape or form? It's not, is it? So I don't think that that's one thing that's being called for, but I don't think that, I don't think the Taliban are going to agree to that at all. That doesn't seem like anything in their interest to do, do you know what I mean? So, so yeah, um... It's all a bit up in the arms at the moment, but it looks like the Taliban are basically going to take over the country. And then, like I say, the thing that's not being mentioned at all, like I say, I've been watching news and I've been reading, I've been reading newspapers and stuff, and nobody has mentioned Islamic State. Not a single, not a single article, not a single news story has mentioned anything about the Islamic State at all. It's as if it doesn't exist. And this is worrying, do you know what I mean? Islamic State, man, a proper... Do you know what I mean? We, we, the world can do without these cons, do you know what I mean? These, these, these are the ones who go around smashing up fucking thousand-year-old monuments and stuff, do you know what I mean? These are people who go around chopping people's hands off. 
fucking throwing homosexuals off top of buildings and stuff. We don't want these people in the world, you know what I mean? And here they are carving out another fucking area that's all under their control in Afghanistan and the fucking Western countries are just completely ignoring the fact that this is going on, do you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever. There's clearly some agenda going on here. I don't really know what it is, but it just seems a bit weird. Why are you not mentioning this? Do you know what I mean? This is a massive story. Islamic State are back. Do you know what I mean? They're taking over massive swathes of this country and you're just ignoring it. Whatever, whatever. So we'll have to see what happens, but it looks like it's all over for Afghanistan.